Hey Cornerstone, hope you're doing well. I wanted to spend a few moments connecting and then share a word of encouragement from God's Word that's been encouraging to me this week. I'm standing here outside my office. Uh, I wanted to give you a sense of being back in the building that houses our church, so I'm going to walk around a little bit. Uh, here is Lori, hard at work. Go ahead, hi. Hi everyone, let's be together. She is as cute as ever, as you can tell. And uh, out here, our supplies for the Care Net are growing. Uh, one more day, and then we're going to make a trip down to CareNet and bring the supplies to the babies. Uh, as I walk down the hallway here into the lobby, into our gathering place, I want you to notice how we've done a little bit of uh, painting. It's been a while, so uh, t what is it now, 12 and a half years. So these walls needed a some touch up, so they've been painted. Uh, thought we'd add some new color uh, into a couple of places, the kitchen and the welcome area. You see the nice new color. You like it, I think it's pretty snazzy. Uh, soon there's gonna be a lift here in the lobby. What is the lift gonna be used for? Well, we'll wait and see the work that's being done uh, before I share that with you, and then we're gonna move the lift into the sanctuary and do more work in there. So when you get back, there'll be a little bit of some of updates and enhancements, and I'm looking forward to that. But in the meantime, uh, I wanted to share with you that if you're feeling a little blue from this corona season, uh, what I'm calling now a Psalm 124 season. If you're wondering what uh, that's about, look at Psalm 124 and see what God was doing in the midst of um, his people's trouble. He was involved, he was protecting, he was providing. This season should be viewed from God's perspective, from heaven's perspective, and then we'll get an accurate view of what God is doing. I think there's a lot of questions that, uh, in people's hearts. I know I have some. I know that I have felt the blues from time to time in these last few days that I took off during this last several days. There's been times of feeling kind of low and having the blahs. Um, if so if you have felt that, if, you, if you're a little blue, know that you're not alone. Others are feeling that. And here's the antidote to that. It's getting God's perspective. And last week we sent out 10 promises from God's word. And it's good to uh, sort of marinate in those promises and hear uh, what God is promising regarding our problems and our, and our trials at this time. One of the things that I wanted to share with you is we're starting to think of what decisions need to be made when we reopen and we come back stronger. You remember those are th uh, is our theme for coming back and coming home, coming back stronger. Uh, there's about 50 major questions and then a, a variety of minor questions under those 50 categories of, of decisions we, have, we need to make. So pray about that. Pray that as we look ahead to the reopening, that God would give us the wisdom as to how to handle it and navigate the, the reopening. Uh, I wanna share a couple of scripture passages with you. The first comes from Genesis 28, and we read this. That Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, surely the Lord is in this place. Surely the Lord is in this place. He recognized it, he came to see it, but here's the part that I thought was interesting. And I wasn't even aware of it, he says. I wasn't even aware. God was in, the, in that place with Jacob, and he wasn't even cognizant of it. See, God is in this place, in this time, in our circumstances, in our uh, challenges, in our trials. And in fact, in the New Testament, I wanted, here's the second scripture I wanted to share with you. It's from Acts chapter 11. Uh, because the people of God were being uh, persecuted, they scattered. And so they weren't able to remain gathered. And it, the scripture tells us wherever they went, as they were scattered and apart, they shared the good news of the Lord Jesus. That's what it, the scripture tells us. And then it tells us this, Acts 11, 21, the Lord's hand was with them. The Lord's hand was with them. Just as in the Old Testament, Jacob discovered that the Lord was present in that place of difficulty, uh, the people of God in the New Testament discovered that the Lord's presence and provision and power was with them in their uh, in their difficulty. And so we need to see things from heaven's perspective. And if we don't, we're going to be frustrated. We're going to be asking questions and never finding the answers. We're going to ask, why is this happening to me? Why is, it happen is this happening to other people that I love? Why are these things going on? In fact, this week, um, my beautiful bride had to go in to see the, a specialist uh, that was concerning to me. Uh, then, then we find water leaking into our basement and wondering what that's going to mean. <laughs> And, uh, and, and other things happening around the building here at church. And, and so I say all that to say this, if I don't recognize God's presence in the midst of it, I will be frustrated and I will experience um, some down times and I don't wanna experience that. And so I wanna see God's perspective. I wanna see heaven's perspective and I wanna encourage you to do the same. Now, 
Let's pray together. Would you, would you take a moment and let me pray for you and, uh, and pray for us and pray for the coming days? Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you have a track record in our lives, that you've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt when you gave us your very best. You gave us your son, Jesus, to make a way so that we could know your, your presence and we can know your love. Thank you, Lord, that you've shown in our, each person's life how you've been there, you've been drawing them to yourself and how you intersected their life and brought the good news to them so that they could know what it means to have a relationship with you. That Lord, you're a God who has plans to prosper us and to care for us, that you would hold nothing back that we need. So Lord, based on the past and your, the track record in our lives, we look to the future with great hope and faith, knowing that we can rest in your love. Father God, I thank you that in every way you will show yourself to be good in our lives, that in every dimension of our lives we're gonna experience and know in the future that your love will be unfailing. And so Lord, I pray for the needs of each person in our church and those that they love, their financial needs, their emotional needs, their relational needs. Lord, that you would give us the grace we need in order to come back stronger. Uh, Lord, we look forward to the day when there'll be a new normal but there'll be some normalcy and we will be gathered and life will go forward. But Lord, I pray that when we get there to that new day, that we would get there stronger, stronger with our relationships with one another and most importantly, stronger in our intimacy with you. Father God, I thank you for answering every prayer because we know that coming before you in Jesus' name gives us all the authority we need for you to hear our prayer and answer according to your will your good and perfect will. So we now rest in that, and we thank you, Lord, for how you've made us your own. And so uh, nothing can touch us and harm us in a permanent kind of way. And so we will become, we will be overcomers because of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray this in your name. Amen. We've seen his victory in the past. We're going to see it again in the future because the Lord is in this place. He's in your home. He's in this situation with you. See things from his perspective. Keep coming back to that perspective when you start to feel the blues and you start to uh, lose hope as to what the future holds. I love you. I, I uh, miss you. I hope you're uh, doing well and that you're safe and that you're actually uh, able to have opportunities to show the love of Jesus. God has given you a calling even during this time. He has given you purpose even during this time. So share the good news about the Lord Jesus Christ. And I hope to see you soon. I'll see you Sunday as we start the new series. God bless you. Be well.